you definitely remember Snap Spectacles. Not only was it the company's first attempt at making hardware, but they were ridiculously hard to get your hands on, which in retrospect was a brilliant marketing stunt for a pair of toy-like sunglasses that cost $130 and only captured 10 seconds of video. But to a lot of people's surprise, Snap is still making hardware. In fact, the company says it's really committed to it, and at some point in the next decade, it thinks that all of its hardware is going to converge with all of its software, and we're all just gonna be wearing cameras on our faces which is why today we're looking at Snap's second version of Spectacles. At its core, it's another camera on your face. But Snapchat has added some features that are supposed to nudge this whole idea a little closer to normalcy. So my Wired colleague Ariel and I decided to compare version one with version two, and we figured what better place to do it at than a giant amusement park like Great America, because we have really tough jobs. And you love roller coasters, right? Yeah, I hate roller coasters. This new pair of spectacles looks a lot like the old pair, with the exception of some new colors, but there are subtle aesthetic changes. The first thing you'll notice is that these are less clunky. They're a little less nerd alert and more, I just came from Coachella. That's especially true on the sides here, where you can see that they're thinner. The new pair also doesn't have yellow rings around the lenses, and Snap figured that the LED lights are enough of an indicator that you're recording something. The more important stuff is what's under the hood or frame. The new specs have an improved image processor and improved Wi-Fi chip. And the glasses now transfer HD footage to your phone by default, whatever the equivalent of HD is in Snap's circular format. Also, you can now take still images with these. To take a picture, you press and hold the capture button. The video capture function is still the same. You press the button and you let go. The good news is Snap says a firmware update will let you take still images with the old pair too which means Ariel can do this with her specs too. Another feature update is that these spectacles are water resistant. That doesn't mean that you're gonna to wanna to go deep sea diving or anything like that wearing them, but you can wear them around the pool, get some water splashed on yourself, and they should be fine. Or you could do something like this. <laughs> Snap says you should get the same battery life with these spectacles that you did on the first pair, but the battery in the new ones is smaller. And they're also qualifying it differently, which is a little confusing. They used to say you could get 100 snaps in a single charge, and now they're saying you can take and transfer 70 snaps on a single charge. These also cost more. They're $150. And finally, you can order prescription spectacles too through the website Lensable. So all of these updates, they're totally fine. It's like Snapchat went down a list of features that people complained about with the first version and decided to fix them. But it's not a dramatically different product still, which kind of begs the question, what is Snapchat doing? And I think what they're doing is they're just trying to get people a little more comfortable with the idea of wearing a camera on your face. I mean, they see people love their GoPros and they see that people have their smartphones with them all the time, but in their pockets. And so they're kind of going for something in between with this. Right, if you didn't love the first version, you're probably not gonna go out and buy the second version. But it's less about Snapchat's bid to get you buying this product and more about the long game to get people comfortable with wearing cameras on their faces. Yeah, and to some extent, things like HD video or water resistance probably help make that case a little bit. One thing that still bugs me about these is that when you share the video outside of the Snapchat app, it is still that proprietary circular format. Mm. I kind of wish that they would just let you export it as, as flat 2D video. I think that would make it more accessible to people in general, not just early adopters or nerds like us. <laughs> but it's a good reminder that if you buy into Spectacles, you are still buying into Snapchat's world and the Snapchat app. I mean, however fleeting that may be. Hey, you wanna go on that roller coaster again? I, I think I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>